Hey guys, welcome back. Kyle Denton here, Bowling RV, Duluth, Minnesota. And today we've got this awesome 150 series reflection from Grand Designs, the 226 RK. So we're gonna get you on the outside, we'll get you inside and we'll see what you think. Let's start right up front here with the fiberglass front cap. You see it kind of rolls over on the side, have the seals up on the side of the camper, really help you with the water, um, kind of do a double seal on that one for you. You got the Kurt turning point hitch up front. Uh, Tucked under here, uh, you got your battery on board that we're gonna put in here for you. Uh, you got your solar controller back in here as well. Uh, that's because this has 165 watts on the roof. Wrap around the back side of the camper, you're gonna notice it does have one slide on it. Two 30 pound LP tanks and one on either side that we're gonna fill for you here at Bullion, part of the deal. Then inside the uh, storage bay, you got your wet bay, you got your auto level button in here as well. Uh, you got your tank poles that are all inside. You got hot and cold water. So um, everything really easy hook up in here, right in the storage bay. You can see the room frame construction. Heat is pumped into here. So nice heated storage area for you as well. Come around the back side of the slide here. Right down here, you have another gray tank for the rear kitchen. You got your sink and stuff back here. You also have a spot that you're gonna be able to put your sewer hose right down there for you too. On the back side of this camper, this reflection is coming with a backup camera on it already. And it's nice that it's there for you all set up. Also, you are set for a hitch. So you get your four point, your four plug, pull up prongs for a trailer or a boat trailer. You can hook it up here. 300 pound hitch weight, 3000 pound towing capacity. Ladder to get you up to the roof. Fully walkable roof. Check your slides, check your seals, ladder on board for you, which is gonna be great. On the front side of the camper, you're gonna notice the awning. It's pretty much spanning the whole length of the front side here. Kind of comes down over the storage compartment. Kind of speak to grand design. You can see the nice thick baggage doors. They're nice and heavy, just slam latch. Also on this side, if you wanted to, you can find maybe a little dorm freezer, fridge, something in here. The appropriate hookups, you can kind of turn this into like a nice little outdoor fridge area for you. If you're in hot water, on demand, hot water heater there. Also we've got outdoor speakers on this as well as on the inside. And then with these awnings, they do have a pitch adjust. So you can just pull down on one side, once it's all the way out, kind of run some water off if it was raining or anything like that for you. Friction hinge door on the reflections as well. And I like about this one because it does have a magnet back here too. So no more clips or anything, just the magnet, which is gonna be great. Aluminum rims. And then you can see that you get your um, leveler right behind the wheels too, which is gonna be great. So you gotta pop up the aluminum step, get your big grab handle to bring you in. So we'll head right inside. Right as you're walking in, you got a spot, maybe you can throw some sandals, some shoes, kind of some gear down there, really nice pull drawers, and then kind of like a catch-all little countertop there for you. You do have some plugs on this side, so let's say you're out doing some photography, you got your GoPro, you're doing something, you can set your all your gear here, plug it right in, nice little spot for you to kind of keep those batteries charged for the next day. Uh, turning around, we've got the rear kitchen. Cool thing about the rear kitchen is all your prepping is right back here. You got your door, so if you need to grab something out of the fridge to pass to somebody outside, you got something on the stove, they want to pass you some dishes, you don't got to do a whole lot of running in and out. Everything's kind of all centralized right here for you. And then you got I mean, a ton of, ton of, ton of storage throughout the entire kitchen, which is awesome. And then right down here, you got a spot for a garbage can too, so. Really nice kind of layout for a nice shorter camper like this. This feel, this fifth wheel comes in at about 7,200 pounds of dry weight. So very half ton towable. So if you got that smaller truck and you're looking to get into a fifth wheel, this might be the route to go. Got the new 12 volt refrigerators as well. So we'll open those up. So much space inside those. Um, instead of the eight cubic foot gas electric, you got the 10.2 cubic foot 12 volt. And with that battery on the top of the uh, camper here for you and how efficient these run, these are great. You got a three person uh, couch here. 
You can kind of turn it into a two-person couch if you wanted to. Um, it doesn't pull out into a sleeper, so you can sleep across it. It is enough space there. But this table over here, this will drop into a sleeper for you. Um, on the couch. So these do have recline really nice as well. And then they do have heat and massage on the two ends. So just think about coming in after a nice long day, kick back, slide back on here. You got the TV right across. I mean, just sit back, relax, kind of watch some TV. You can have a few friends and family in here just relaxing. So really nice space in here. All the heat ducts are out of the floor, so they're all coming out of spots like under the seats here, or maybe up under this countertop. So no in-floor heat ducts. So if you have any pets or dirt or grime, you're not gonna get any of that inside the in the heat ducts, which would be really great. All right, head up into the master bedroom. Uh, you can see you do have some lights down here by the stairs too, so that's gonna be really nice late at night. Up in the bathroom. You are going to have a porcelain foot flush toilet, a pretty decent sized shower. I mean, I'm 5'9", so I mean, I never have to worry about the height, but even you six foot tall folks got room in here to get clean. You got a nice little drying rack, a uh, string that kind of pulls out. It's kind of a neat little thing. Just going to kind of pull that out. So if you are, you know, you got any towels or anything you want to hang them in here so they can dry out in here over there that's kind of a nice little spot so cool little space in here medicine cabinet spot for a towel so some great little features in this smaller little bathroom up in the bedroom here you got your queen size bed what I like about this is sometimes you just get a little shelf up here and then some cabinets or you know or one of each this one you get a little bit of both so if you wanted to stick your device up here you do have USB plug-ins and then power plug-ins on both sides so um, whether you have to have a CPAP machine sitting down here you got your phone up here um, whatever it is little devices you got your cabinets up top so Whatever you have stored in there, you can leave in there. So if it was just a shelf, you might have to take that down during traveling. So you can leave your stuff in there. Then you got this really nice big wardrobe, if you can see in there. Nice light inside and some really good solid pull-out drawers. All the fronts on these drawers are solid wood. So it's something that you're just going to have to feel the kind of the quality of Grand Design. Um, these lighter colors are the new colors for the 23s, which are going to be great. Um, again, it does have a little step up into the bed and again, I'm 5'9", so I'm kind of capping out the top, but still some, you know, enough space to get in and get out, do your thing. The bedroom, you know, hopefully you're just going to come in here, crash, re-energize, and then get back out and do what you're doing when you're camping. So not a whole lot of time spent up here, but it is nice to feel very comfortable. Um, if you needed or wanted to, this vent here is prepped for another second AC, so you're on a 50 amp service, so if you wanted to throw a second AC into this unit, you can definitely do that too. So, um, a couple other things, one AC, the AC unit we're on it is down here, it is ducted throughout the entire camper, and then you do have this 10 blade uh, max air fan right up top as well too with a rain sensor. So that'll move a lot of air. And if you were away from the camper and it's plugged in, that'll just close for you if it started raining. So a couple great features there. Um, so yeah, like I said, my name is Kyle Dimman. We just got this here at Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. It's the 226 RK Grand Design Reflection 150 Series fifth wheel. If you'd like to work on this unit or any of the unit we have here, my number is 218-740-4964. Also hit that like button, that subscribe button. Um, let us know how we're doing and how we can better these videos for you. That's what we do them for. So thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.